So I believe sometimes an entry barrier is for vol is not bad for volatility. Because for example, the hacks on post chain, you can you can on ramp it a lot easier with a lot less let's say money you are wasting on transactions and bridging and blah 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 blah. But on the other side, means that there are a lot more people that try to sell their own stakes on Pulse because of that cheap transaction fee, which creates a lot more sell pressure and liquidity than on the Ethereum side, where people need to pay 50 to 150 bucks to transact. So if someone spends $300 on EX, they need at least to do 100% on their investment to be break even. So they will not sell as quick as the other guys. You know what I mean? So I believe when there is less liquidity, there is a huge potential for price performance. And this is who is interested or who says like other than creating in as a payment infrastructure in the future for banks that Ethereum is not working. It is not working for the purpose or what they sold it for but it is working in its own way for its real purpose, you know, creating smart contracts, letting developer build something they love, not restricted by a third party. So this is still Ethereum, you know, they have scalability issues, obviously, they have, they have all these things. So now with the staking, I believe that it's even going to be less profitable when it comes to price uh, than before because it was a lot harder to create a new block than now with staking and validating the transactions. So in that case, I wanted for my part to choose something that has like, let's say the security of the uh, Ethereum virtual machine combined with great uh, pumponomics in a way that it's designed to perform in price something that performs unusually to the upside also sometimes performs unusually to the downside which is just the higher you jump the, the harder the landing will be it is just that way you know? yeah. so i believe that's why i believe in hex i have hex because i know it's community driven it's totally decentralized and then i have xrp because i know that is how you would say it's sinister people are going to use it for the new system <laughs> But uh, if I don't take um, a little piece of the pie, how can I help the people around me that don't even know that we have elites controlling us? I can just not. And if I tell them what really is happening right now and they are broke, they will just be the type of guys that are on Xanax the next six years. You know what I mean? Yeah. And this is why I don't really see the same vision by by giving the people this information. Yeah. You know? So now you have my opinion. Yeah. I didn't change my opinion on your on you personally. Yeah, good. But I was like, if he's abusing it, I I can just not um, continue doing videos with him until until he realizes that you know yeah because i believe we like how to say we can do big things if we do them properly you know that the big the big rise and the quick fall is always something that happens together so you have now a channel that has let's say thirty thousand subs if you really find a way to re to make these people re-engage plus new people coming in this is where you create organic views you know yeah. because people just want to know look i look you are trying to make people fear something that could happen in the future and then you want to try to give them an exit way i do it that way i know when someone invested in Bitcoin at 30K or 35K or 40K, that they have some kind of uncertainty if there is a big dip coming. 
and that they lose money. So when I upload a video about Bitcoin, I try to get them with the feeling they already have, the fear of losing what they made. So you need to build your thumbnails and titles around what people actually fear in the present moment so that they click your video. So what do they fear right now? I don't something to show that it works. But for example, with the XRP video I did, it got 600 views. And the majority of my videos do between 40 and 120 views. So this video really did six times the amount of views, you know. And How many views did it get? Just, what? How many views did it get? 600. Okay. So the first, and when my channel first took off, it, the first one that hit big was like 3,000. Back then or now? That was uh, last bill run. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know. Even the videos we did uh, together in the beginning got like four, Thousands. five, six, seven thousand views. Yeah, I it'll be like that during the bill run again. And and all and also because uh, I want to give you this chance um, to to realize what I wanted to try to tell you because you gave me also you inspired me to do this. So this is something I always will be thankful for. Without you, I wouldn't be here today with 700 followers. So, but the thing is, you need to understand that I have certain principles that I don't want to, to yeah. Yeah, you don't want to end up to to getting in trouble. I want to help people and myself and my family. I'm, I'm not coming from a rich family, you know? So I need to be the guy that makes it and I have no chance of losing. This is, this is my time. Like, I can just not um, break that potential by doing such stuff. It, it's just not possible for me. And I will not do it. Yeah. No. And later on, when, 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 when we are someone, and you have 100, 200, 300, 400,000 subs, when you do a hundred videos, you can do five videos where you tell people the truth, but for the rest, you stay at what you do and why people followed you in the first place, you know? Yeah, fair enough. People want to know if the investment is going to make them money or make them lose everything. And that's why they are watching. <laughs> so if we understand that people are just watching because they fear that they are on the wrong side of the of their investments, this is what you, we need to 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 um, to focus on. That they are uncertain. That they need our help to have some kind of certainty. And it is not by projecting them with uncertainty that you're going to make anything good in their life, and not in yours too. You know. <laughs> Look, I had a really good video where I said, people, watch this if you miss the Bitcoin pump. And I explained to people that Ethereum has a 40% move to catch on. And instead of crying about not being in Bitcoin, try to see the opportunity. And they got me 31 views, fucking 1.6 uh, click rate uh, from the impressions. It's just like ridiculous in comparison to other videos I have, you know? And, and it's like, it's like people um, don't really want to, or maybe it's also my thumbnail whatsoever. I, I believe if you have a great thumbnail, you have a great title, plus you have the first 10 seconds that are really focused on the thumbnail and title, you get exposure from the algorithm because it just looks how many seconds people are looking your short or your video before they drop off. So when the bounce rate is after six seconds or 10 seconds, they will let your video go out, let's say. But if the majority of people, let's say, looks the first three to four seconds and then um, they drop away, then they push less your video. So you really need to focus on the first eight, five to 15 seconds of your video if you want to vi your video to be watched 
halfway through. And if you to realize this, oh, people are not dropping out the first five seconds. That means that the content is good. And then they push more and more and more and more impressions to your profile. And I believe it's just understanding that and creating a system and a strategy how to how to really have the greatest thumbnails, the flashiest thumbnails, with also something that the first, let's say, 15 seconds talking about exactly why people clicked on your video. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And this is, I have this from Mr. Beast, from all the videos I'm watching from YouTubers giving advice out to other people. You know, Mr. Beast always says, like, it's not the algorithm that doesn't want to give you views. You just need to realize that your videos are shit, and that's why people don't look at it. The algorithm just gives back what people feel. If people watch your videos a lot and you have a good retention rate, then they push your video. It's just that. It's not the type of content you make, obviously, sometimes. It's also the type of content you make, but... The, the basic of it all is maintaining someone 15 seconds on your video by <clears throat> knowing what is their actual fear right now in the moment. Right now, people fear that Bitcoin is going to 30K and they are excited about it potentially going to all-time highs. So you need to use these two keywords.